She's a unique musician with feet in two camps. She's won six Grammy Awards and scored six number one hit records. But she's also avowedly Christian, with many of her songs being sung at church. Indeed, Amy Grant is one of only two Christian artists to have been awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, who were the artists who inspired her? This is Amy Grant's playlist. Anybody could sing that song, it would be a hit. And it was just so catchy and sounded old, you know. Baby, baby, I'm taken with the notion. So simple. I had done so many serious songs up to that point, you know. It was just so nice to do something that was, made you laugh and smile. I've done so many recordings of old hymns because people don't sing them anymore and I don't remember what any of the preachers said when I was little, but those hymns really taught me about God. It is well with my soul, yes. I love songs that had, like, answers. You know, all the women would sing, it is well, and then the guys, it is well. I loved all that. So far away, doesn't anybody stay in one place? So far away. That was the first Carole King song I learned. I was completely enamored with Carole King. She didn't have a perfect voice, and I certainly didn't either. I loved writing, and I thought, hey, she can do it. I mean, she's just kind of squawking them out there, and they're heartfelt, and I can do that. The secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. I love that lyric in the James Taylor song, the secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. Since we're on our way down, might as well enjoy the ride. The soundtrack of everything. I got you, babe. The first concert I ever went to was Sunny and Cheer. Oh, gosh. They say our love won't pay the rent. Before it's come, our money's always spent. Hey, I got you, babe. I mean, you know. I loved Cher for her. I loved her comfort with herself and her body and her big nose and her skinny, lanky self. I just loved her personality. And the music was just an extension of that. They paid paradise, put up a parking lot. My sister Mimi had bought Joni Mitchell's Blue record. I felt like she was taking me everywhere she had been through her words. Don't it always seem to go? Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. The paper ice put up a parking lot. I mean, how true is that? Your mother could say that a hundred times, but it really took Joni saying it to go. You better appreciate it now. You won't really appreciate it till it's gone. You fill up my senses like night in a forest. I was a big John Denver fan. There was nothing gruff about him. And even amongst my friends, you know, they go, oh, John Denver, you know. But the other night I was at a songwriter's house in Nashville and they were trying to remember old John Denver songs. <laughs> I was like, how much time do you have? All I know is Somewhere Down the Road is about a lot of things. I guess it's really about the benefit of looking back. You know, when you're in the middle of something, it's such a mess, you don't really know what's going on. But somewhere down the road, there'll be answers to the questions. And somewhere down the road, though we cannot see it now, somewhere down the road, you will find mighty arms reaching for you. On oh, they